Is that bus is going to need some big repairs. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends have never been on a big yellow bus before. Seatbelt check! 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 Off! We! Go! <laughs> Whoops! Let's try again! Miss Rabbit isn't used to driving the yellow bus. The yellow bus is a bit fast for Madam Gazelle. Miss Rabbit, can the yellow bus play music? The yellow bus can do lots of things. It can do this. This. Yellow bus can play music very loudly. Could we turn the music down a little bit? Of course, Madam Gazelle. Uh, why don't we sing a song instead? The yellow bus wheels go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the yellow bus wheels go round and round. Oh, <laughs> Let's play I Spy. Good idea. I spy with my little eye something beginning with R. Peppa's playgroup have arrived for their school trip. So it's time to get off the bus. Oh, I wish we could stay on the yellow bus all day. Don't worry, I'll be back in the bus to take you all home later. Everyone likes riding in the big yellow bus. Everyone except... Madam Gazelle. Hello. Hi. Peppa and her Morning. family have come to the balloon shop to collect a special balloon for a garden party. Miss Rabbit! We have our fancy planet friendly recyclable balloon. Oh. oh. Wow. The balloon shop is full of balloons. Miss Rabbit? <laughs> bonk! <laughs> bonk! <laughs> bonk! <laughs> oh, you found me! I've been lost in the balloon since Tuesday morning. Must be lunchtime by now. It's Wednesday, Miss Rabbit. Oh, anyway, here are all your fancy planet-friendly recyclable balloons, ready for the party. Oh, but we only ordered one. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> um, it says here 1,000 balloons for Mummy Pig's party. 
Oh, but we don't need this many. And we can't waste them. What do we do? I know. We can share them. Peppa and her family are giving the extra balloons to everyone in town. Oh, thank you. And one for both of you. Here you go. Red balloon. Green one for you. <laughs> Only 992 to go. This is going to take forever. Uh-oh, and we have to go and set up the party. I have a great idea. Grab some balloons and follow me, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is time for the party, and everyone is beginning to arrive. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Here's your balloon. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Miss Rabbit has used the balloons to turn the garden party into a balloon party. Miss Rabbit can make anything with a balloon. <laughs> Or anyone? Here you go! <laughs> it looks like me! And this one looks like me! <laughs> this is the balloon! <laughs> 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 and don't worry if you pop a balloon, because we have lots of extras. Bonk. <gasps> Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Everyone would have loved Mummy Pig's garden party, but everyone loves the balloon party even more. Back soon, Mummy. Bye. Daddy Pig has to pick something up from work, so Peppa and George have come with him to his office. Sorry, Mr. Rabbit. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> George really likes all the buttons in the lift. Oh, oh. oh dear. All that button pushing has broken the lift. Oh, whoopsie, George. Don't worry, George. I'm a Bit of an expert at lifts, you know. Ah. Uh. The buttons in the lift aren't working. Hello. Welcome to the lift. <gasps> Is this lift magic? No. It's voice activated. Which means we just have to tell it where to go. Much easier. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, Lift. We would like to go to my office, please. The Lift is working again. Yay! Floor two. Office of these. But. It hasn't <laughs> taken them to Daddy Pig's office. <laughs> no, not Office of Bees. Office, please. Office, office cheese. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love cheese. <laughs> I said office. Office. <laughs> office. <laughs> Silly magic lift. Oh, the lift doesn't seem to understand Daddy Pig's voice. I'll try. Can we go to Daddy's job? Now we're rising at the top. Um. <laughs> Not the top. Daddy's job. Please? Peppa and her family keep trying to get to Daddy Pig's office. But the magic lift takes them to the wrong floors. <laughs> and spooky floors. And even party floors. <laughs> but none of them are the right floor. Until... <gasps> My office! Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Mummy Pig. We just had a little trouble with the lift. Be there soon! <laughs> Pepper and George really love the magic lift. Uh, uh, uh. But Daddy Pig much prefers to take the stage. <laughs> Peppa Pig and her friends are at the aquarium today. <laughs> They're all pretending to be fish. Ew, what's that? <gasps> this is an octopus. It has eight long wibbly wobbly legs. <gasps> Actually, an octopus only has two wibbly wobbly legs. The other six are wibbly wobbly arms. <laughs> wow! I wish I had a rainbow tail. <gasps> Let's be mermaids, Susie. <laughs> but we don't have mermaid tails. But we can pretend! <laughs> Hooray! Peppa and Susie are pretending they are mermaids with long, lovely tails. Hello, seahorses! We can swim around just like you! <laughs> Whee! Whee! <gasps> it's so pretty! What is it? This is an oyster! <laughs> it has a pearl inside! <gasps> a pearl? What's a pearl? It's a very lovely shiny object. Can we open it and see it? An oyster only opens when it's ready, so we'll just have to be patient. I can't see the pearl. Excuse me, Mr. Oyster. Can you open, please? We're being really patient. Can you go, ah, like at the dentist? Mm. Um. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not working. 
talking. <gasps> it's so jiggly. Let's tickle it open. Mermaid Pepper and Mermaid Susie are trying to tickle the oyster so it'll open. They tickle and tickle and tickle, but the oyster still won't open. It's not working. We'll never see the pearl. We'll just have to wait. <sighs> It's the pearl! It's so pretty! <laughs> the oyster has finally opened. The pearl inside is very lovely indeed. Oh. Rip, rob, rip, rob! But I want to see the pearl. Can we make it open, please? <laughs> no, Danny. We have to be patient. Everyone knows that being patient can be tricky, but Peppa and Susie know that the very lovely pearl will be worth the wait. Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score! That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens. <laughs> Can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> More tokens? Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> What animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, 
I missed a giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> Look up there. There's a gnat. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting. To pounce! Wow! Mr. Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes, all this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Ho-ho! <laughs> lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. <laughs> Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. the lion loves feeding time at the zoo? Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. Digger! Digger! <laughs> George likes diggers! I like diggers too! <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers! Wow! Here is Mr. Potato! Welcome to Digger World! Where all your digger dreams come true! <laughs> this is the sand digger ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board! Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. <laughs> now, Fill up this big bucket with sand. This is fun. Yes, fun. <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over. Give it a tap. And voila! Pepper and George have made a big sand castle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy. Okay, Pepper. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Pepper! <laughs> Nearly finished! There! A lovely wall! Here comes George with a demolition digger! Yeah. <laughs> oh! George has knocked down Pepper's wall. George! You naughty piggy! <laughs> oh, -ho! building things up, then knocking them down! It's all part of the fun at Digger World! <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh, Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. 
there are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. Dinosaur. Okay, George, let's get to dinosaurs. This way, George. No, no, that way. Back. Forward. Down. Okay, we've got the dinosaurs. Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, ho, ho. try again. Oh no, we got him as the potato doll. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep. Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges. You are fully qualified digger drivers. Hooray! Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive. Stop! It is Mr. Bull. What's the matter, Mr. Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger! Digger! Mr. Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's okay then. Hop aboard. <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> Okay, now, push the button. What? This red one? Now the green one! <laughs> the digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with Diggers! Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. The Aquarium. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie. Oh, Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Peppa. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. 
Enjoy the aquarium! Thank you! The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish! Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> <laughs> Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Wow. It is a very big fish. Wow. <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? I saw. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaury. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. <laughs> It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> hello, Miss Rabbit. That was the last fish tank. Oh. We haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Oh, oh, it looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger anytime she wants. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday, and all the children are going on a big adventure. 
Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur! <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. You. Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur, a real whopper! Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please! These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. <laughs> These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? I'm quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boldness, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the tail! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look, there are some green steps. It's a big slide. Wow! It's a big dinosaur! Yes! It's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! <laughs> that is some dinosaur! He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a Patosaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Granny Rice. We have to find an egg. An egg? Eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy for experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Joint Pepper and Joint George. Stop! Uh, I mean... I'm hungry too. 
The food in Thailand is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. <laughs> Dinner time! <laughs> So, they will have to have real food instead. Careful, George! Wow! <laughs> 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 the treasured train is on its way! Choo choo! <laughs> Yay! Pepper Pig and Danny Dog are driving a train full of gold, silver, and broccoli! <laughs> Is broccoli treasure? Yes, it's special broccoli made of sparkly diamonds. <sighs> Peppa and Danny aren't really driving a train. They're using their imagination to pretend. Hooray! Stop! <gasps> In the name of... Um... Rubbers! <gasps> oh no! Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are pretending to be train robbers. Can we have all your treasure, please? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're supposed to steal the treasure, Susie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have stolen all the treasure! Ah. <sighs> um, what do we do now? You escape! Oh, yes! Yeehaw! <laughs> Come back! You naughty robbers! Now Peppa and Danny are pretending to be police officers. They're going to catch the robbers. Hey. You caught us! No, we didn't. Because... Um... Ha! Your boat can fly! Um, Madam Gazelle, can ships fly? Real ships cannot fly. Oh, but pretend ships certainly can. Hooray! Wow! Now, Pedro and Susie are in a flying boat. Oh, um... Our train can fly too! <laughs> Police officers Pepper and Danny have almost caught the robbers! <gasps> No, it's a daddy pig. And he's coming to take you home. Charge! <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? We're pretending to fly our boats and trains, Daddy. Oh my, what an imaginative bunch you all are. Oh, aha, Peppa loves imagining things. Everyone loves imagining things. Yummy, tasty food. Yummy. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are at a very special type of restaurant. 
This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, goody! The restaurant buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. Oh. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious! I can't wait to finish! Oh. <laughs> you were hungry, Peppa. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Pepper has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid! Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish! Oh, thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Pepper is thirsty ah. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. <laughs> The machine has finally stopped ah. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really loves orange juice. Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mommy! I love you! Well done, Mandy! Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. 
Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a special <laughs> surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> Yay! George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Pepper's token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Pepper hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got! <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mommy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. <laughs> Pepper and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh. oh dear. I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to worry, Mummy Pig. I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. No! No! Screwdriver! <gasps> ah, oh, thank you, George! <gasps> Yay! Yay! Oh, whoops! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now, all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. I? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaurs. <laughs> oh. Aha! There's one! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to the shopping center. Oh! Perhaps we'll get out here. I'll park up and find you soon. <laughs> if I can find a space. They've come to the toy shop to find a gift for baby Alexander. There's so many toys! <laughs> <laughs> now, what do we think Baby Alexander will like? Hmm... <gasps> Maybe this basketball! Or this blaster! Pop! Pop! <laughs> or this karaoke machine! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
<laughs> These are very fun, but I'm not sure they're right for a baby. Then we'll have to keep looking. <laughs> 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 Daddy Pig has finally found a space in the car park. Oh dear. But the parking space is so small, he can't get out of the car. I'll just have to go around again. Whee! <laughs> what have you found, George? It's like the car park we were in. Car park. <laughs> George loves the toy car park. <laughs> Baby Alexander does like cars, but I think... I think he is too <laughs> young for this toy. Oh, what about this ball, George? No! <laughs> <laughs> or maybe this cuddly teddy? No! <laughs> George doesn't think any of these toys are right for baby Alexander. <laughs> what about this noisy rattle? <laughs> no! <laughs> vroom, vroom. George only <gasps> likes the toy carpet. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Look at this, George. No! What a perfect gift for baby Alexander. We'll take it, please, Miss Rabbit. I wonder where Daddy Pig parked. Hello, everyone. Everyone loves going toy shopping. But... Daddy and George really love the car park. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her class are going on a school trip. Hello, everyone. Who's ready for a school trip in my lovely new yellow bus? What happened to your old blue bus, Miss Rabbit? It broke down at the weekend whilst I was taking a nice relaxing drive. Oh dear, Miss Rabbit's bus is unable to race. So it's in the garage for some small repair. Yay! <laughs> You, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes! Your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot! Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize! Wow. Let's go! Hello again, Peppa! Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? 
Of course! With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, well done, Edmund. <laughs> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper, and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. <laughs> Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. <laughs> Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Welcome to the ice cream shop. It is a very hot day. 
so Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Ooh! What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. No! no. Oh! <laughs> now, we add ice cream, cherries, and whipped cream. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful! Don't squish the banana. <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. <laughs> Don't forget ah. the cherry on top. Ah. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockerlory? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Um, it's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Ho, ho. Not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. Ah. We need ice cream, fruit, Meringue and cream. <laughs> Pepper and George add all the ingredients into the glass. And now you can decorate the top. Then decorate with wafers, colorful sprinkles, and sauce. Here you are, madam. This looks wonderful. Now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow one. Rainbow. Pepper and George use lots of different <laughs> colored ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, Yellow for banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pepper and George have mixed all the colors together. We've made a muddy puddle. <gasps> Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla! My favorite! <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. It is bedtime, but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. 
the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes, Super Peppa. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping giant. Dinosaur. Oh. Yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Peppa tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely. Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? Today, Mummy and Peppa have brought George yeah. to the doctors for a checkup. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Pepper Pig. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Pepper Pig. I'm Nurse Miss Rabbit. <laughs> and this is Dr. Brown Bear. Ready for your checkup, George? No! George has never been to the doctors before. He is a little nervous. Don't worry, George. The doctors just want to make sure you feel good. Exactly. Come on in. And don't forget your little red book. <laughs> First, Miss Rabbit and Dr. Brown Bear need to check George's height. Step this way, please, George. No! 
But George isn't sure he'll like the height measurer. How tall am I, Miss Rabbit? Wow! You're getting very tall, Peppa. You'll be a big grown-up soon. <laughs> George wants to know if he is very tall too. Wow, you're so big and tall, George. <laughs> now it's time to check George's weight with a special machine called scales. This machine will tell us how much you weigh, George. And it's really good for bouncing. <laughs> George loves bouncing. <laughs> and freeze. <gasps> Mm -hmm. And unfreeze! <laughs> now it's time to listen to George's heart with a special tool called a stethoscope. Oh. Mm. This might be a little cold. <laughs> the stethoscope is very cold. Oh, try this, George. You can listen to my heartbeat too. George likes listening to Peppa's heart. <laughs> You did very well today, George. So you get a sticker. Oh. <gasps> and one for Dr. Pepper Pig for being so helpful too. Hooray! <laughs> Today, Peppa and George... Are they ready? Yes! Then let's go! Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh. Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day Going to a picnic a long, long way away Going to the outback on a sunny day Flying to the outback a long, long way away <laughs> I love the Outback. Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is. But the Outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. <laughs> Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? So right, we all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Oh. No, 
worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr. Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs. Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs. Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs. Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready! Corn on the cob for everyone! Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket. <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah, oh, if we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha <laughs> ha, you'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. Oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Um, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. Okay, everybody. It's home time. You're staying in our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night, night. Night, night. Peppa and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going, hop and hop to the circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big children. I wish we could play something, Grandma. Belinda Bear is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh. I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is! Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go round and round. 
Look, this music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, mommy and daddy. Hello, Papa. Hello, George. Hello, daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Papa. Hello, George. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's stay together. Okay. <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes the same way, so you don't bump into each other. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Papa. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Auntie. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mommy. <laughs> Hello, Mommy. Hello again, Papa. Hello again, Daddy. <laughs> Hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato. We have to be quicker or we'll earn music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy is going backwards. Oh, do you do that? I don't Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all-time favorite song! Mademoiselle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! <laughs> Hello, Mommy. Hello, Mommy. Hello, again, Peppa. This is the best roller disco ever. Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. <laughs> Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on the trampoline. 
I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, for these mini trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> <laughs> and me! Some grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high! Not too high, Mummy Pig! Bouncing in the sky! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree! Oh! How do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, Trampoline Park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mommy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue. My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes. It's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Yay. 
is bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Oh, 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 this is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Soft play. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> It's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play center. It says soft play. <sighs> Daddy doesn't like the soft play center. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine, and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello, you're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can be ready. Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the outback on a sunny day. Flying to the outback a long, long way away. <laughs> <laughs> I love the outback. Um, what is the outback? We're flying over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is. But the outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Two, right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback. So don't... Yeah, nice mm. and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Oh, no worries. 
Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs. Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Peppa likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket. <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah, oh, if we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Peppa. <laughs> Good shot, Peppa. Oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Peppa, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Peppa. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. Okay, everybody. It's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! <laughs> I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. Peppa and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller disco. Me too. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is in charge. Keep going, home and home to their circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. Wow. Are you okay, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big children. I wish we could play something, grown up. Belinda Bear is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh. I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is! Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go round and round. 
this music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, mommy and daddy. Hello, George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. The children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Papa. Hello, George. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's stay together. Okay. <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Fred's road. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes the same way, so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Papa. <laughs> Hello, Mommy. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Molly. <laughs> Hello, Mommy! Huh? Hello again, Peppa! Hello again, Daddy! <laughs> Hello again, Emily! What a surprise seeing you here! <laughs> All day long! Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good! I've got just the one! Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato. Five. We have to be quicker with our Ernie music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Potato, six potato, seven potato, four. Wow! Daddy's going backwards! Oh. How do you do that? I think I know! Quick! It's over! Put our record on! Yeah! Time for some real music! Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all-time favorite song! Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! <laughs> Hello, Emily. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Mommy. Hello again, Peppa. This is the best roller disco ever. Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on the trampoline. I bounce lots. 
It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, with these mini trampolines of the little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> Bouncing up so high, bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll have a go. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me? <laughs> so grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. Oh. Whoa. Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. <laughs> Hello, Trampoline Park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. Help! I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue. My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm, I can't land on the tree. I know, I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Yay! She's bouncing back into the sky. 
Lucky, I forgot the helicopter was here! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit! Just doing my job! Oh, yeah. Next time, don't bounce quite so high! Yes, Mummy! If you bounce on trampolines, you must bounce safely! Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Soft play. It is morning. Peppa and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> It's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play center. It says soft play. <sighs> Daddy doesn't like the soft play center. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter. And a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello, you're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups go. He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joy. <laughs> Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr. Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aww. Gone. Too bad, Mr. Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! Wave! What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. <laughs> I think what does to wave, George? Gooey! <laughs> Gooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow! George has got great balance! <laughs> Hooray! You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. 
<laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, okay. Well, I suppose that might be right. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. The diner. Pepper and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. I love this motorhome. A motorhome is a house that you can drive. Are we in Hollywood yet, Daddy Pig? Let's ask someone. Hello. Well, howdy, folks. I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yep. There's a lot of us around. What can I do you for? Stop him for some gas? No. Uh, About to eat? Well, we... Country dancing. We would just like to know if we're in Hollywood, please. No, ma'am. You're a long way from Hollywood. Oh. But as you're here, why don't you just settle down and get some of that good old home cooking in your belly? Well, I suppose we could stop for breakfast. Hooray! So what'll it be? Sunny side up or sunny side down? Eggs over easy, no need to frown. Yeah. <laughs> Eggs over easy, please. Coming right up. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. What's X over easy? I flip the egg over. Thank you. And um, what's sunny side up? I don't flip the egg over. It stays like this. Sunny side up. Please. And me. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is good at cooking eggs. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. I love my sunny side up egg. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and... So, who likes dancing? Me! Good! Then y'all come and meet Mr. Bob Bobcat and his band. All join hands and step to the right. <laughs> 